In this video, I will show you how to add a subscription to your SkewGrid account. First, log into your SkewGrid account. Click on the subscription tab. Choose the recurring plan or one-time credit option that you would like. One-time purchases always say one-time purchase before the credit option. Note, since they are one-time purchases, they do not renew. When your credits run low or out, you would have to then decide to buy another one-time credit purchase or sign up for a recurring plan. There are also several recurring plan options available. Select the payment plan that suits your needs and either click proceed to PayPal, request invoice, or pay directly. The proceed to PayPal option will redirect you to PayPal to complete the one-time payment or to create a pre-approved payment agreement for your selected plan. Please note that if you pay with PayPal and the payment is made as a draft from your bank account instead of your PayPal balance or credit card, it will take three to five business days for that payment to clear. Your credits will not show up in your account until after payment is cleared. PayPal balance and credit card payments are immediately available and your credits will show up within a few moments. The request invoice option will allow you to enter a PayPal email address and have an invoice sent to you. You will then receive the invoice via email and will be able to process that payment through PayPal. Please note, Invoice payments are processed manually and it can take up to 24 hours for your credit show up in your SKU Grid account. The pay directly option is for those who would like to pay their payments or create subscription using a credit card directly and not with PayPal. Select your desired method of payment and proceed to checkout. Once payment is made, please allow a few moments for your credits to show. You will see them on your My Items page. SkewGrid allows you to add as many subscription or one-time credit purchases as you need. Please remember when adding additional recurring subscriptions that just because you create a new subscription, it does not automatically cancel the other. You still have to go through the cancellation process or contact support to cancel any unneeded subscriptions. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.